Dominique, et Nicanique s'en allait tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. Good day, my parish. This is Brother Dominic with the third part of our friend Ben searching a religion for his children. For those of my parish waiting for more of my comedy and satire, please be patient. I promise you that as soon I have finished this important series, you will be served. I'm doing this series because so far I made my searches on YouTube. Nobody did it before. The third day of Ben's journey to find a religion for his children. Ben has breakfast with his Jewish mother Ruth and tells her that yesterday he was in a Catholic church and offered a candle on the altar of the Saint Virgin Mary. Ruth could understand because she even, as a Jewish non-believer, always left the stone on the grave when she visited the Jewish cemetery. This is a Jewish tradition. If someone asks her why she does it, she always answers, maybe there is something you can never know. Ben's family seems really having built a mixture of every religion. Ben remembered when he was on an Orthodox cemetery in East Europe, there only a few crosses on the graves but all graves had a table to share food and drinks with the dead. During Ben's childhood, nobody seemed missing the lack of religion during his education. That was what he thought before he went to visit his shamanistic sister Siara. Sierra has overcome the lack of God in her family, and in the meantime, she gives shamanistic seminaries. When she made, as adolescent, her first spiritual attempts, everybody in Ben's family was laughing over her. She had to free fight arduously her way to her religion. That's why she thinks to know how Ben could do it better now with his own child children. She said, if you ask yourself during 20 years what will be your direction, then you wouldn't have a direction. If you think that all direction might be okay, then choose the direction who's attracting you most. So you will giving the chance to your children to have at least one direction. If you ask yourself for a long, long time what will be your direction without making your choice, your children will have again the same problem and must again do their own search, and they will have also nothing to transmit to their children. Ben Asiara, if she thinks if that is bad, her answer was, if you have predisposed children as she was, it's not bad. But she thinks that it might be easier for her if she has had an earlier guidance. Ben didn't realize how his sister has suffered under the religion-free education of his family. happens if not only a child, but the whole country grows without a religious education. To find out, Ben made a travel to East Europe, to the countries behind the former Iron Curtain, the ex-communist, atheist countries. After 1990, these countries attracted all kind of religious missionaries like shit attract flies. This was a period of religious gold rush and every denomination tried to have his part from the cake of these unbelievers.
Somewhere there, Ben meets Larry, an Irish Methodist pastor. Pastor Larry told Ben how he was shocked when he first came to East Europe. He had a 10-year-old girl in his church looking at this mural picture of Jesus and asking who it is and what he's carrying and what he wears on his head and why. Why is he carrying this cross? This was for Pastor Larry a cultural shock. Coming from Northern Ireland where every child has heard from Jesus and at least everyone knows the basics of the Christian faith. And here, a child from 10 years who has never heard about Jesus? This was also astonishing for Ben. So it seems that religion can be learned as well unlearned. But is this really evil? Certainly, it's sad when children doesn't understand the Christian Mark cultural history of Europe anymore. But is this reason enough to educate them religious, therefore? Ben asked Pastor Larry, why children needs God? And Pastor Larry answers, children needs God for the same reason we all need God. A life with God is more beautiful than a life without God. God is on his way with the children even if the children don't already know this. A life with God is an enrichment, support for today and hope for tomorrow. It gives a meaning to life. On the way home, Ben was again resuming what he learned today. God gives a meaning to life. It sounds good, but is in the same time it's rather vague. On the other side, people like Pastor Larry look so well balanced and convinced in their faith. Ben feels a little regret not to have the same conviction and not the same faith. There must be something. Subscribe here, rate here, leave your comment.